I remember when I started off with our crusades. I had, I had another preacher with me. He was praying for the sick and I was, I was preaching the gospel. He was an African. I, I of course was a German. And then we had a, uh, we had a, a, announced a crusade there in a place called Bushback Ridge, very close to the Nash Kruger National Park in South Africa. And he was to come by train, and then we were going, we were to go by car to Bushback Ridge. But he never came. He never ever came again. And I waited for that train. I waited for the next train and I waited for the third train and then I started to pray I said Lord when is Richard coming the Lord said he's not coming I said oh my God oh my God who's going to pray for the sick the Lord said to me I am with you oh, yes that's good enough Lord you are with me. Jesus is with me. I got into my car and I drove those six hours to Bushback Ridge. And there, the people were waiting for my, for Richard, more than for Reinhardt. I told them, I've got bad news and good news. Bad news is Richard didn't come. The good news is Jesus did. He said, and I will preach and I will pray for the sick. I preached, made an altar call, and then the Lord said to me, pray for the totally blind people here. Said, How many blind people have we got here? whole row came forward well led forward and I said I lined them up in front of me I think they were about 20 and I said I'm going to come and lay my hand close your eyes and I lay my fingers on your on your blind eyes and I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus but keep your eyes shut until I tell you to open them I laid my hands on them, my fingers on all those dead eyes. And then I stepped back. I said, now in the name of Jesus, open your eyes. And suddenly, a young man about 20 years old, I can see, I can see, I can see. And others, Oh, hallelujah! I made up my mind that day. I don't want to depend on people. I want to depend on Jesus. Because Jesus never fails. And Jesus is with us always. Don't forget that. No matter what the situation, no matter what condition, it doesn't matter. Jesus never fails. Amen. Are you blessed? Oh, may that sink into our hearts. There's always, always, always. There's no need to question. And if there's no need to question, there's no opportunity to doubt. I take the word of God at face value. Why? Because the word of God is the constitution of the kingdom of God. And no two thirds majority of any parliament on earth can change that constitution because it is settled in heaven forever. That's how sure it is. Hallelujah. 